talked about this morning. My husband got up and he was looking at the news. I think before they said it was 31 that had died. Then it went a little bit higher, and this morning I believe that the count was up to 58. But I just want to say that the ones that have gone on, I hope they knew the Lord, yes, Lord. in the part of the sin. Yes. Because we can't do nothing about that. We couldn't do nothing. I'm going to bring my brother in law back. We heard that he was in the hospital at 3 in the afternoon. And he was gone by 8.30 that night. We didn't have time to even pray for him. Yeah. Ask the Lord to keep him. Sometimes you can't pray for somebody. Because God's already got it in his plan. What needs to be done. Yes, we just need to be out there. Missionaries. Ambassadors of Christ. Children of the Most High God. Telling somebody about the Lord. Yes, so when their time. When their number of days have come up. They'll be ready to meet the Lord. Because just like I told you. I believe your essence never leave. Wherever you go, somebody said it, it's better to go and look for the heaven than to die and be in hell. I'd rather to seek Jesus than to lift up my eyes and it won't be unto the hills, but it will be unto the lake of fire. And I looked at Revelation and they let me know that the devil he tried to be so bad but he's not even the last one that goes into the lake of fire oh, but it's death death is still collecting people even after the devil is gone into the lake of fire who are you going to blame then when the devil has already been put into the lake of fire and it's from ever and ever the lake of fire I'm going to tell you on this morning, God already knows all about us. Yeah. There is nothing that's hidden from the Lord. Yeah. So I will tell you to be encouraged yeah. and be the God's grace. Because God's grace is sufficient just for you. God's grace, it is the power made unto weakness. It will perfect your weakness when you don't know what to do. God has already got it worked out. I want the power of Jesus to rest on me and then be encouraged by God's hope. It says to me, it lets me know in Romans 5 and 5, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given unto us. Be encouraged yes, to obey yes. the Lord. Be Don't encouraged. be like King Saul. <laughs> Saul, God called you to be king. If you were in Bible study, you are ready. He didn't know about that too. God didn't call Paul out of Saul to be a priest. He called King Saul to be king. Yeah. But old King Saul, oh. he stepped out of what he was supposed to do. Yeah. And he stepped in uh -huh. to what Samuel was supposed to do. And at the very moment that he stepped out, he was wrong. His thoughts were not God's thoughts. My Bible tells me that God lets us know that my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways, your ways. Yes, Declare the Lord as the heaven are higher from the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts are not your thoughts. It's just like, if y'all remember, thank you, Holy Ghost, yes, the man that thought he was doing something good wow. when that turned over, that cart, good God for example, he thought he was doing a good thing, trying to keep the thought, the cart, uh, the, 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 oh, help me, Holy Ghost, uh, to keep uh, the, 
keep the ark on the cart. Yes, he thought yes. he was doing a good thing. Yes, Lord. Put his hand on the, the ark. What did he do, y'all? He died. Because yes. he thought he was doing a good thing. Have you checked with the Lord <laughs> and see what the Lord has asked you to do? Do you know what God is telling you to do in this time and in this space? We got to seek the Lord first and into his will we shall be. God has a pierce yeah. already that was in it when King Saul was in reign and his name was Samuel. Do you know who that son was? That was of a woman whose womb was bad until she prayed to God. And she prayed a specific prayer. Yeah. God, yeah. give me a son, yeah. and I would give him back to you. Yeah. She kept the son. She let the son nourish her. She gave her son yeah. back to the Lord. Yeah. And his name was Samuel. Yeah. And Samuel was walking and talking with Saul. And Saul did a bad thing. When he got into his thoughts, he got to thinking about what he should do. He said, I didn't want this time to pass. Yeah. I wanted to do the priestly duty. Yeah. But King Saul, I'm going to say it again. God called you to be the king. He did not call you to be priest. And then, what was the woman's name? Her name was Hannah. She gave her son back to the Lord. And the woman that had a womb that was barren, God blessed her. And I even said seven times seven, but I believe the Bible said, bless her seven times. Be encouraged of what the Lord would have for you to do. How God have each of us in his plan. For God's grace is sufficient. We have this hope and is an anchor for the soul. Yes, Firm and secure. Yes. It enters in the inter sanction of God. Yes, Behind the curtains of God. We can go in into <laughs> the holy of the holy. Yes, nobody, nobody. 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 But you yes, and the Lord. Yes. Tell him about your situation. Yeah. Tell him yeah. what's on your mind. Yeah. You seek him. Yeah. Then you trust him. Yeah. And he do what the Lord said. <laughs> that the Lord tell you what to do. And then you don't do it. Yeah. It's nobody's fault but your own. Yeah. I heard in a song it said be encouraged. Yeah. No matter what's going on, yeah. he'll make it all right. <laughs> but you gotta, gotta. be strong. Be, be encouraged. Yeah. It don't matter yeah. what's yeah. going on, yeah. but you got to be strong. Yeah. I know right is impossible to see, but God wants to work it out. Do you believe? Remember when thing while you're going through it. If God delivered Daniel, yeah. I know he'll do yes, the Lord. same for you. Be encouraged. Be no matter what's going on, yes, he'll yes, make it all right. Yes. But you got to be strong. Yes. You're going to have some tough days. You're going to have some family members yes. that don't understand what's going on. Yes, but I tell you that trials yes. and tests and tribulation come to test your faith. Yes. Just keep on, keep on. believing. Yes, Be encouraged by God. And He'll make it all right. But you got to be, be strong.